Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your messages from Spirit Reading for March 2020 for the sign of Cancer. I hope you're well Cancer. So I'm just pulling an, uh, an overarching Spirit Message card to see what the message is for the month. So what do we have Angel Spirits Guides? Okay. So Cancer, the first card that came out is Love. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. When love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. You know, this can be self-love, this can be opening up to new love, loving offers, uh, loving opportunities. Um, receiving people's love in whatever you know by their actions all of this kind of energy it's not purely down to relationships uh, i feel love is far more than that really yeah but it is a beautiful uplifting energy and you're told to be open to receive it now it can also be self-love here i'll put that over there okay Let's pull another message from Spirit. What do we have, Angel Spirits Guides, for Cancer for March 2020? What is the message for Cancer? What's our lovely Cancerians need to hear? Oh, okay. Two messages here. We have face your adversities, and I think it's from the heart. Do it from love. Uh, do it from finding your center, all of this kind of thing. And be patient. Don't expect too much of yourself. Yeah. Because I feel for some of you, there is, there is a joy. Uh, open to joy. Listen to the heart. It's from the heart this month. Let your heart guide you forward. Okay. Angels, what is the message, please? Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message for cancer? Okay, thank you. Yeah, we have, look at this, we have soul fragments. Balance will be restored. And I think this is your emotions. You know, love is our emotions, our feelings. It's our heart energy. Whatever you've gone through or are going through cancer, there's a feeling that you can be restored from within. This is a kind of a message to say that this love, doing things from a place of love, is far greater, far more powerful than any negative energy that you've faced. There's a feeling of restoration here. Some of you might be being shown divine love as well. Yeah. Very Ace of Cups energy. And Archangels, what is the message for Cancer for March 2020, please? What is the message for Cancer? What does Cancer need to hear? March 2020, please. Prosperity. Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Wow. Prosperity lies ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm still feeling, you know, you're bigger than whatever this was or what this is, your adversities. And it's time to address the balance in that, you know? Okay, Cancer. Okay, Angel Spirits, guys, what do we have for Cancer, please? So, 
Cancer, we pull three cards and then get clarifiers. The first card is the issue or challenge you need help from spirit on. The second card is the advice from spirit. And the third card is the outcome should you follow the advice. Just take what resonates with you. Okay. So the first card. We have the Eight of Cups here, Cancer. This is the challenge or the issue you need help from Spirit on. We have Justice. This is the advice from Spirit. And the outcome, we've got the Hermit. Card of Libra here, card of Virgo here. Sometimes they can represent can represent qualities, signs that are in your, your chart, can also represent other people in your life. Let's see what else we get. So I'm going to use the ghost spirit deck. I thought it was quite appropriate given that we're doing a spirit message reading. <laughs> Okay. What is the message for Cancer, please, Angel Spirits Guide? Starting with the Eight of Cups. For March 2020. What do we have, Angel Spirits Guide? Thank you. We've got the Knight of Swords here. Okay, Cancer. So, Justice. This is the advice from Spirit. Yeah, what did I say? <laughs> Ace of Cups. Yeah. I'm going to pull one more. Okay, we've got the... We've got the King of Swords here. Okay, and the Hermit Cancer. Two of Swords, Moon in Libra. And I'm going to clarify that with the Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Yeah, I'm pleased the Queen of Cups came out there. Cancer, we've got the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Swords here. Yeah. So the Eight of Cups is somebody who is walking away from something that hasn't fulfilled them the way they hoped it would. This is somebody who is abandoning old hopes, whole old dreams, old wishes. It can be where you place your hopes and dreams on somebody, on a relationship, on a job, on a property, you know, whatever this was. Something hasn't lived up to expectation or promise. There could have been disappointment or letdowns in this energy, you know, and this is somebody connecting to their intuition. Understanding there's nothing more that can be done with this. Something is missing, and there's a realization of that because we've got the Knight of Swords. So, the Knights in Tarot can be about change, um, change happening, um, and this can be about finding clarity by seeing the truths of situations, can be by de decisive action, uh, can be by getting an idea or uh, communicating what you need to communicate and then walking away. Whatever this was, the sword's energy is very much where we're getting clarity of the mind because it's the mental energy from within. And I feel for some of you, you are getting a clearer perspective now that something has, hasn't lived up to expectation or promise. There was something missing. You see, this person wants the Nine of Cups, the heart's desire, the wish fulfillment card. But there's one cup that's missing here. And I feel for some of you, it has just not quite hit the mark in whatever context this was. This is a big shift 
towards refocusing your life now towards something that will bring you uh, something far more uplifting so I feel for some of you that was the issue or challenge that you faced or are facing now you know some of you might have gone through a divorce a separation in love you know, this. Yeah, I feel for some of you that, I mean, you know, the King of Swords can be to do with the law. The Justice card can be to do with the law. Legal institutions, all of this kind of thing. I just feel that some of you could have gone through a separation in terms of love because we've got the Ace of Cups here. Um, the Justice card says that you will receive a just and fair outcome that will restore balance in your life. Yeah, and it's in the light of truth. Um, but this card of Libra can also be about striving to get balance, maybe having gone through a difficult time. Because we are saying balance will be restored here with the Soul Fragments energy here. So I feel for some of you, this is a month where you are going to get balance back in your life. And it's from within, you see? The Ace of Cups, yes, there could have been some separation in love, a relationship, uh, legal disputes. But, you know, you have the opportunity to find that emotional centeredness from within. You know, this is emotional rebirth as well. And I feel that is what the justice card is giving you. If you have been, if the law, if the justice system has been involved in some way, shape or form, uh, to do with separation in terms of relationships, something that hasn't lived up to expectation or promise, something that you're consciously walking away from and you're walking away not just physically but also emotionally towards new horizons because you're seeing the bigger picture with the Aquarian energy the King of Swords you're getting a high perspective from the situation and there's a positive shift and this is from within the Knight of Swords is from within and also in your external environment yeah so I just feel for some of you, this is a, there is new balance. So there is an opportunity to find emotional rebirth and get new balance back in your life. But there could have been some separation in terms of love. And this is saying that balance will be restored. There can be an emotional renewal. You are getting a high perspective on this. The outcome shine a light from within yeah the hermit the hermit is a card of healing it's a wonderful energy of, of finding our own answers within as well this is our own communication you know the the virgo card is linked to mercury but it's our inner communication our inner wisdom the more a spiritual sense of side of ourselves this can be about soul searching finding answers healing from within restoring restoring our energy from within this is how we raise our vibration from within now it can also be a card of making sound judgments yeah and i feel it's from the new clarity that you're getting as well and i, and I do feel that you're coming to terms with something through this reading Seven of, of coins or seven of pentacles is a card of good things that will come to those that are patient. And we do have the patience here. Sometimes we see the two of swords, the lady with a blindfold on, not wanting to see the truth of a situation. And I feel for some of you, there is a message here that you need to face your truths in order to heal from them. Face your adversities in order to heal from them. Um, because that's how you find new clarity you see this is very much about understanding and trusting your instincts in order to make choices decisions allow yourself to understand how to move forward from whatever you've needed to heal from it is trusting your intuition from within to guide you forward now if it feels right it is right our instinct is immediate our gut reactions our immediate reactions to situations how we feel it's not something that comes over a few minutes. It is a gut reaction and it is trusting that. Because some of you are, you know, sometimes our emotions can keep us stuck. 
And this is about trusting your intuition throughout this process in order to heal and find a way forward. And there needs to be some evaluation that, that goes along with that. The seven of coins is that point in time when you evaluate what is worth your time and energy and what is not worth your time and energy, Cancer. Because this is about reaping rewards long term, bringing greater value into your life long term. But the challenge is that you need to understand where you're wasting your time and energy and where you need to focus and invest your time and energy to get greater value, greater reward now. This can be very much linked to your self-esteem, your self-worth. Can link to careers, uh, jobs, you know, are you being paid your due, all of this kind of thing. But it can also be about relationships, what's happened you know, um, don't dwell on things that are not going to give you reward or people for that matter. Don't invest your time and effort into something where you're not going to get it back. And I feel that there's a new clarity that is part of the clarity that's coming into your life now. Because this is saying that good things come to those that are patient. You need to stick at it. But it is about focusing your energies as well on what's worthwhile. Because for some of you, you know, the Queen of Cups, you know, I'm, I'm loving this energy because, you know, where, you know, and with the Ace of Cups as well, the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups holds the Ace of Cups as well. Let's remember that. What you thought was missing here, you see there was a missing cup. You're finding it or you certainly have the opportunity to find that missing cup in March. Now, this can be in terms of self-love, finding that emotional renewal from within. This is trusting your intuition as well. The Queen of Cups is a really intuitive energy. But this is also finding a new love for life, you know. Now that could be in, in the form of a person. That could be in the form of, of just, of, of people around you. Um, this is your card, Cancer, the Queen of Cups. So I feel there's a reconnection to self here as well, self-love, opening up to better times ahead. Probably being open to new love or finding something that is far more fulfilling in your life. Um, very much linked to this and this, you know, finding that missing cup, the missing piece, finding what was lacking, all of this kind of thing. And I feel first and foremost, this is within yourself. So could be new love being offered to you, moving on maybe, but I'm definitely feeling this being your card, the card of cancer, it is definitely in your element. Powerful, because there's greater prosperity ahead. And it's all down to allowing yourself to face your truths in order to release. Yeah. So I'm going to pull a message from Heaven card. And it is what heaven, whatever Heaven means to you. I just really like the, the messages on these cards. Okay, one turned over straight away. We understand that sometimes you may feel alone, but we are always here. Yeah. And you see the moon in Libra, you know, the Ace of Cups. This is all energy of intuition and our intuition is connected to spirit and even the Queen of Cups, um, the Hermit, you know, it is allow yourself to be guided from within. Trust that you've got the answers. The answers lie within with the Hermit and allow that to guide you forward. If it feels right, it is right. Yeah, and I just think it's leading you to something far more fulfilling reconnection to self. This is someone feeling whole again from within, finding that centeredness from within. And they are solid for that reason, you know? Sometimes there are white cliffs behind the, key, the Queen of, of Cups for that reason, because her emotional centeredness and love of self from within is solid, it's unrockable. I certainly feel for some of you that the journey will turn to, there's better things ahead in March. 
And that's why we've got prosperity here, because I just think it is about trusting your instincts, doing things from the heart, Cancer, which you do. I mean, you know, you guys feel emotions, the spectrum of emotions. But that's what makes you highly intuitive. And I do feel that that is where your prosperity lies, you know, in, in, in moving towards in March. So powerful, powerful message. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.